right, hello, YouTubers. You guys done with the tissue pit already? Let's uh, do a little mic check here. As soon as I figure out what I'm doing. There we go, check, check. Let's see if that mic works. And I'm not gonna take away the tissue pit yet, but I'm gonna scooch it over just a little bit here so I can sit where it is, more or less. Oh, kids, I forgot I brought this mouse in here. I never even turned it on, did I? We should turn that on too. Little Robo Mouse. All right. Uh, let me grab the pillow for me. Sit right down here next to the tissue pit. Hi, everybody. Okay. Let me check on Discord real quick. All right, sound is good, sound is great. All right, good. Um, well, uh, good morning. It is time for Mailbag right now. It's gonna be a real brief one. As you can see, there's not a whole lot to go through. Um, but that's good, as always. I've got my reasons for thinking that uh, shorter is better today. Um, let's see, uh, news of the week. So, uh, half of the kids went to the vet this week, just the way scheduling worked out, and they all checked out perfectly healthy. They got their vaccines. Sky got her vaccine, and uh, everybody's happy. Then, um, while we're on the subject, Dawes has told me that there's approved adopters for Sky and for um, Joist and for Alcove over there. I don't know if you can see him from any of the cameras. In fact, I should check camera four, make sure it's pointed at something useful. Camera two, four, whatever it is. Oh yeah, it's pointed at the back of my head. That's not useful to anybody. Let's try this for the moment. Since I hear plenty of noise in there, he's grabbing my elbow. Hi, Marsh. Hi. Okay. Um, so uh, Alcove and Joist also have adopters, but everybody else I think is still up for grabs. So if you want to apply, there's an application on our website, kitten.academy. And uh, I know it's a lot to fill out, but it's definitely worth it. Those applications go to the Danbury Animal Welfare Society. Uh, they will check those over and they decide um, who gets to adopt what. So, um, yeah, I know these, these are great kids, so, and there's plenty of time for them to find homes yet. No rush. Uh, what else happened this week? Uh, we also, I think I mentioned in the close-up that um, Cuddles is going to a different foster uh, on the 28th, I think, so just after the weekend. And, um, and, 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 there was something else. Uh, I don't know. I completely whatever. So, okay, uh, that's that. I think we can jump right into it. There's no letters today, so that part's quick and easy. Um, I renewed our post office box for another year today. That was fun. And, um, yeah, okay, we're going to dive right in. This is addressed to Marshmallow. That's you, buddy. Oh, sorry, I guess you're busy. Let's see. It says, Kitten Academy Marshmallow from Lisa for Kittens. It's very tiny. Oh, oh, wow. I, okay. It is um, for Marshmallow, and it says, Enjoy your gift so his duders can enjoy his namesake too. And it is a marshmallow. It's seeds for a marshmallow plant, which I was aware is a thing, uh, but I don't know like if it has any relation to the thing that we eat in any way at all. Uh, but it looks very pretty. It's got these pretty purple flowers, at least according to the photo. There you go. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. Uh, that's fun. It's, uh, I love uh, growing little plants. I mean, I have loved. I haven't had any time for it lately, uh, just the cat grass. But 
Um, I've got a little closet greenhouse. That closet is actually a shower greenhouse. It's, it got moved from the shower right across the hall to the one in my office, which doesn't really get used for anything. So, and it's just a stack of shelves with some grow lights and some reflective stuff and, uh, and all my supplies. But uh, I had a lot of fun growing hot peppers last year, and they, we had a great yield. We've still got some in the freezer that DJ's working through. And uh, I was trying to do it again this year, but the frozen peppers don't seem to uh, work very well for collecting seeds. I should have saved some seeds before we froze the peppers. So I'll probably have to get DJ to get some fresh ones at the store like we did last year to get the seeds out of. Um, those are those. Uh, she likes those little Thai uh, chilies. I can't think of what the official name for them is. They're very tiny, super hot, and... Uh, I've ordered seeds for them online before, and I can't get the seeds that I get online to do anything either. But the first time that I took seeds out of an actual pepper and started them, they, they sprouted right away, and they were easy to grow. So that's the way we'll just do it from now on. Uh, i got to remember to ask her to do that. But uh, this, is, this is great. This is so fun for Marshmallow's adopter. I think that'll be uh, a, um, hopefully a good time for them. And if not, they can just kind of be like, ah, oh, that's cute. <laughs> so uh, I like it, though. Um, let's see, I didn't cover up everything the way I ought to, so let's just turn that upside down. I also, I thought that this was a drop shipment, but it is not. It is a recycled box, which we like. But that means, uh, let me get my knife out here. I'm digging. It's in there somewhere. All right, there we go. Oh, it's got little paw print tissue paper in it. It's so nicely wrapped, and I opened the wrong side, so let's reach down to the bottom and get the note out. Okay to read on stream, and look at that, it is a note. That's very cute. Uh, oh, there's some stickers in here, some big stickers. It says, good morning, KA students, moms, faculty, advisors, staff, and benefactors. Last month, I traveled to visit family and witnessed the solar eclipse. While we sat in our lawn chairs waiting for the big event, who should pull up next to us? Teaspoon driving his red convertible and decked out in his gold chains and eclipse glasses. Safety first. He wanted to commemorate the occasion with a selfie and share it with you. Aww. <laughs> um, <laughs> the sticker, I just read it. It's wonderful. Now it's, it's total earworm as well. That's so wonderful. Uh, I found the sticker on my trip and immediately thought of cuddles. Then it occurred to me that it probably applies to many mom cats fortunate enough to enroll their kids in Kitten Academy. I intended one of the stickers for Cuddles Endowment, so I hope it can go with her to her new foster, the others for the Academy. Thank you, and keep up the good work from Der Flutter Dog. Der, der Flutter Dog. Der, der Flutter Dog. I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, thank you so much. These stickers are really cute. It says, at first I was astray. I was petrified, <laughs> and it has got a little stray cat uh, on it, and uh, it's even got an ear tag like uh, the, they used to do. I don't know if they still do that for some strays, um, but uh, very cute. So, adorable, and there's something else wrapped here in tissue with paw prints on it. Oh, oh, it looks like it's a teaspoon selfie. All right, hang on. There we go, a little tissue for the pit. Oh, it's a t-shirt, and let's see what it looks like. Oh, how cool. Wow, look at that, a commemorative shirt for the solar eclipse, and it does look like Teaspoon wearing his solar eclipse glasses. And it's, uh, he's even got his little paw up like a selfie. Did you make this? Or was this something that existed that you found? Uh, that's so cool. It really does look like him doing a little selfie. That's, that's adorable. Ah. Thank you so much for this. I'm excited to wear it if uh, DJ doesn't steal it right away. She likes the dark colored t-shirts. She doesn't normally wear anything that's like bright, but these, and this is so cute. I will uh, have to give one of those to Cuddles Adopter and the other one I will have to keep because everybody loves disco. It's, I mean, you, you call that song disco, right? I, I, anyway, I do, so uh, fair enough. Uh, that's so cute. Thank you very, very much. Uh, who could have expected? All right. 
<laughs> Look at that. These are all, um, the, just the bottom one, I think, is a real uh, drop ship. The other ones are all not. They're all recycled, which is great. Um, but I probably should have done a little bit more covering up uh, addresses in that case. Didn't realize. That's right. The camera behind me is pointed the other way, right? Ah! Hey, look at that. Wow, this is from somebody who really gets it. This one says, readme.txt on stream uh, is uh, actually an object that contains true. So there you go. So it's okay to read on stream. It says, birthdays are like hairballs. And it's got a little cat that's licking his lips. Well, I wonder how. Eventually, they both come up. Have a good one. Oh, uh, that's so cute. Dear Chris, we purchased these Kitty Town coffee beans at Purr and Poor Cat Cafe while visiting Georgetown, South Carolina. Every bag feeds a homeless kitty. Gosh, I hope they aren't feeding coffee to homeless kitties. Uh, and also, enjoy a local newspaper from OH. Thanks for all you do. All our best wishes from N and H. The mysterious N and an H. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, N and H. And of course, I'm joking about them feeding coffee to the cats. I'm sure they don't. Um, oh, Kitty Town Coffee. Smoky! Smoke, brown sugar, and nuts. That sounds good to me. I like uh, smoke flavor. I'm trying to see if I will be able to smell smoke on flavor. Hmm. I'm only getting the tiniest little whiff here, so it's hard to really analyze it through the uh, the little vent. But I like a, a, that it's called smoky, and uh, it sounds like a very good flavor, so I'm excited for that. It's the whole beans, which is wonderful, because I do grind my own. Purr and Poor, Cat Cafe, Georgetown. Thank you so much for thinking of me while you were on your trip. That is really special. And then, as you say, a local paper, which is always fun for me. The Bargain Hunter. Oh, fantastic. Cause for Pause. Look at that. It's on point. Um, the Cause for Pause is the Tuscarawas. Tuscarawas? I don't know. County Humane Society's largest animal fundraiser. The event is a sellout every year, April 27th at the Tool Shed at Brighton Back Winery near Sugar Creek. <laughs> That's so cool. This is what uh, another thing, fun thing about reading local papers are how uh, the names of things can really vary. Um, things that I'm just not used to at all. The, this they've got a picture of a cat upside down reaching out for the camera here. It is so cute, and the credit, the photo credit is submitted. Oh, look at that! Submitted took this picture and that picture too. Wow, submitted must be a very popular photographer out there, huh? There's also a pet of the week, Pauline, a five-year-old spayed female at the Tuscarawas County Humane Society. Aw, Pauline looks very cute. Hmm. Uh, thank you for this. I'm excited to read the rest of it. We don't have to do it all right now. And I'm super excited about the coffee. I can always use more of that. I could use a lot more of that this morning in particular, uh, which I'm sure I will get. All right. And this looks like this is from, I think that name is Charlie I. Let's see if I'm not wrong. Trying to open this carefully here. Thanks again for uh, the mysterious N and H. And um, that's, uh, that's, that's cute. Okay. There we go. Oh, shortbread fingers right on top. How about that? Uh, this is a box with a lot of stuff from Charlie. And it says, Hi, Mr. A and Dr. DJ. Hope you are both feeling well. And closed are treats. Rainbow cookies. Oh, that sounds cool. I got to see those. We'll get to it. Hey, can I have this to your tissue pit? I know it's heavier than the tissue. I don't know how it's going to work for you, but it's, it's extra crinkly. What do you think about some extra crinkly bits? Here, let's floop this up again. Oh, bye, Marsh. Okay. Uh, let's see. Shortbread fingers, rainbow cookies, teaspoons for your collection. Oh, didn't know you were collecting teaspoons. Yeah, I didn't know we were collecting teaspoons either, but now that I think about it, I can, I can picture three right off the top of my head that have all come since teaspoon. Uh, there's probably more than that. Pineapple clip for you to do as you want. All right. Um, that's subverting the formula. 
cupcake to remind you of ocean. Oh, that's adorable. Stickers. I have taken out the rude ones. <laughs> the, taken out the rude ones. I got to see what that's about. Um, uh, where was I? The box BR is for the birthing room for the next mom cat. Okay, I don't know what that is, but we'll see. And there's more to see in the box. I hope you enjoy your treats. Don't forget to share. Take care. Charlie, Purrs, and Meows from Weirdo and Kevin, who is, at, who is at last is losing weight. It was only four grams, but for him, it's a lot. It's got to be more than four grams. You wouldn't even be measuring that. Uh, so, oh, four ounces. Oh, I see that. It's got to say ounce. That's an OZ. All right. I see how you wrote that. Uh, it's got to be four ounces. That makes more sense. Uh, uh, so that's like a quarter pound. And that's, that is a reasonable amount to talk about. Okay. So we have Peterson Scottish shortbread fingers. Mm. Uh, those are delicious. That's good stuff. I know DJ likes those too. Um, let's see the rude stickers. Okay. I got to see the stickers. Taking out the rude ones. Boy, I've had something on my mind. Speaking of, well, I don't know. This is completely off the topic. Um, one of the YouTubers that I subscribe to, that, that I personally watch, is named Lock Picking Lawyer. It's exactly what he says. The guy is a lawyer during the day, and as a hobby, he is uh, a lock picker, and which is a hobby that I have had as well, um, that I've enjoyed quite a bit. It's, uh, it's it's sort of got a, um, a geek culture tradition uh, that goes way back, uh, like to MIT in the 50s, 60s, 60s maybe, um, at least, maybe, if not longer. So uh, that's sort of how I fell into it. And it's fun. It's something physical that you can do, you know, with your hands that's sort of a skill. And um, I'm not especially good at it, but like your typical uh, key lock, I'm, I can pick, you know, pretty well. Um, lock picking lawyer doesn't just do that though. He does like every kind of lock and it's fascinating to see some of the different varieties and things that are on his channel. Um, and his videos are like two minutes long on average where he just, he shows you the lock, he says something about it, he picks it in like 10 seconds and then uh, that's the video, which are really cute. This year, though, he did an April Fool's Day video, which is kind of adult-themed, so I don't know if every, it's for everybody. Uh, that's what made me think of it as the rude one. But I, I literally laughed out loud just because I, I, I kind of expected the joke, but I didn't expect the joke to go on so long, uh, which was, it was really cute. So, okay, uh, where was I? This is a cat. We got a cat loaf. These are all so adorable. I don't know how well you can see them, but I want to go through them all really quick. We got a cat loaf. We got a tiny little singing kitty. Oh my goodness, they're adorable. Oh, we got a cat with his coffee. Uh, here we got a little cat wearing a very festive hat. Uh, a cat here batting what appears to be an orange, an orange cat batting an orange. A little tiny white puff cloud kitty. Here we got uh, like a fat sh uh, shmoo, shmee, what was that cartoon character's name, uh, kitty? Here we've got two cats having what appear to be uh, oh, chips and popcorn. So they're obviously watching a movie together. This guy looks a little down in the dumps. Uh, kind of an Eeyore kitty. Probably because his food dish is empty. Uh, we have a heart that is a cat space. This guy is like, he's saying, nope, not for me. Very adorable. This guy's looking a little playful. Here we've got a kitty that uh, seems to be scheming something, like a villain. Here's a cat that is in love with a person. There we go. This guy's taking a nap. <laughs> a little kitty sticking his tongue out. Big kitty sticking his tongue out. Another kitty taking a nap. A calico, beautiful calico. All right. This guy's having his cheeks touched. This guy is saying soon. Here we got a sticker that's just claws. Uh, that was a good video game too back in the day. Uh, I don't know why. This one's blushing and I think going to hug somebody. This one's having that uh, uh, bubble tea, I guess. Here's a cupcake, a napping calico. Oh, uh, we almost missed this guy here with his sunglasses. Hey, what do you think, Sky? This one kind of looks like Sky taking a nap. 
We've got an orange and white nap. We've got another one that looks like a bread loaf. Uh, this is the sad looking kitty taking a nap now. That's okay. This guy's super excited. What do you think? This one kind of looks like you, Alcove. This guy reminds me of a certain spicy mom cat. What do you think, huh? There we go. Another little blushing kitty. Uh, an orange cat with white. This guy's standing up like uh, Sky does very frequently. What do you think? Are you, you going to check them all out? Tell us what you think. How about this guy? Good? Okay. How about this guy? It says, not today. <laughs> he was really acting like I'm showing these to him. We've got a big white floofy cat. We've got a kitty with big eyes and a pocket. Uh, we've got an angry puff ball. And then finally, two little kitties hugging. They're all super, super cute. All right. I'm going to put them back in here for safety's sake and put them with the other stickers. Now, we've still got stuff to go through in here, but that was exciting. This must be... Aw, it's a cupcake. Wow, it really is like some sort of cute little cupcake-y thing with uh, bits of cookie that say happy and what appears to be a blackberry on it. Huh, I almost want to eat it, but I can't because it's, it's not edible. Um, it wants to be edible, though. It's an adorable little cupcake decoration. I can set that out and just drool about it all day long. Um, I've been doing extremely well on my diet, so that's probably the kind of cupcake that is best for me right now. Okay. I had to touch it to see if it was actually real or not. I'm like, how did you pack a real cupcake like that and have it survive all the way out here? It's, it's super convincing. Okay. Oh, this is the teaspoons for the teaspoon collection. Okay, let's see. Oh, huh. Interesting. So uh, they're both cat paws, and one is a little spoon that's got a cat paw on it, and the other one is a little spoon that's got a cat paw cut out of it with the claws out. I assume this is for sort of straining your tea bag or, uh, or something. I, I'll figure it out. They're super cute, though, and they do make me think of a little teaspoon. Uh, totally adorable. Okay. Um, something else in here. Oh, you said a pineapple clip, and look at that. It certainly is. It's a big pineapple. It's a big clip. These are so useful uh, for so many things around here. We, we use quite a few of these. Typically, I buy just the plain office binder clips because I'm a very boring and practical kind of person. <laughs> but, uh, but we do have a variety of other clips that are a lot of fun, too. And this could be the perfect thing to like hold open uh, one of our cat doors, which we do, or we use them on chip bags and all the other kind of stuff, too. So thank you for that. It's right on theme. Then, as mentioned, rainbow kick your cookies. It says, even the kids like them. Oh, yeah, go figure. <laughs> even the kids like them. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that's quite a slogan. With colorful sugar-coated chocolate. Yes, they're very cute. Those sound delicious. Oh, my mouth is watering. I hope you can't hear that. Um... This says Box BR. Oh, look at that. It's a big old fruit character, soft and comfortable. It's Webox brand. Now, Webox makes those cat um, treats, too. So they make cat treats and pineapples. What a strange thing. I mean, I guess they must make all kinds of things. They're probably some company that makes a million stuff. We don't have them here, so I don't really know. I don't know why I'm folding his little uh, fronds like that, but he's super cute. So Webox, fruit characters, soft and comfort. He's perfect. I'm just going to set him in here since these guys still have the pineapple thing going on. All right, thank you for that. And then at the bottom of the box, there is a gable. You go at the top, buddy. And there's more. It says, let's try this again. Okay. And what we're trying again says, sugar boosts your energy to use the treadmill, but unwrap completely. Okay, hang on. Let's try to do this carefully. Okay, unwrap. Sugar in the form of chocolate is even better, uh, boosts your energy to use the treadmill. <laughs> I know which one I would go for. Yes, sugar in the form of chocolate definitely sounds good. Oh, and it's, wow, it's a giant size Cadbury mini eggs bar. 
and it is huge. Look, this looks like something Willy Wonka would be like. Ah, I don't know, maybe maybe that's a little bit too big. Um, that is gigantic. It's funny that it's like made with mini eggs. Like they could put the full size eggs in this one. Uh, so, Charlie, thank you for that. That also looks really good. I said I've been so good on my diet, and it's true, but uh, I have been saving all the stuff that people have sent so that when I'm ready to have a breakdown, <laughs> I will, I'll have all the supplies I need on hand. So, uh, thank you for keeping me supplied with the, wow, and Cadbury mini eggs are one of my favorite things. I think Cadbury chocolate in general is uh, is pretty good stuff for being one of the, like, grocery store chocolates, you know, um, certainly way better than Hershey's. I mean, it's a low bar to hurdle, uh, but uh, oof. Uh, Dove, also very good stuff. Uh, yeah, so thank you for that. This cupcake is definitely the kind that can like go on my diet all day long, and I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, let me put this stuff over here too. I'm running out of room in that box, um, but that's okay. And then we have one last thing, just addressed to Kitten Academy. This one is the only one that actually is drop shipped from Amazon. So probably going to wrap this up really quick now. Let's see here. These two are just playing and fighting and fighting. And uh, oh, now this is something. I wonder if this is sent for us instead of for endowments. It says... Oh, no, it's for Cuddles. That's perfect. For Cuddles Play at K.A. and or her new fosters is a thank you for being such a good mom cat and giving us four fine little kittens to enjoy. Best wishes in your future. You're going to be a great house kitty from Laura Kitten Fan. I do think she will be a great house kitty for the right person. I really do. Uh, so what have you sent for her? You have sent two of the really nice cat wands. Uh, the kind that are fiberglass with a ton. I know you like these two a lot. I know you do. Uh, with a bunch of bunch of attachments, we've got. I can see a ribbon attachment and a whole bunch of feathers and a couple of the worms that little Loganberry loves. And Sky is so excited. She's like, "Where's mine? Yours is in this drawer, kiddo." And then what is this cat's pillow? Oh wow, it's like a big old kick kick at kicker pillow in the shape, I suppose, of a cat, but it's got real curly little hairs all over it. It's adorable. Oh, you can see its face, I think. I don't want to open it up, uh, but maybe you can also see how it's got little curly hairs. I don't know if you can make that out. Uh, here. Uh, yeah, put it right in your face. I don't know if that works. Okay. It's really cute. I'm going to leave it sh uh, closed up so that we can give it to her. I don't have my pen with me, but I know it's for her. Um, uh, we, I'll, I'll go, I'll go mark it right away so that I don't forget that that's for her. That's what we'll do. I will do that as soon as I get up before I have a chance to forget. Uh, who was this for again? I better check. Uh, I'm kidding, but I, let me put the note with it too. That'll help. Okay. Here we go. Laura Kitten Fan, thank you so much for sending these. Uh, I know I was playing with her with the wand on the stream, uh, yesterday, the day before yesterday, and uh, I could tell that that's the kind of thing that she would really go for once she was comfortable. I don't, I don't think she's entirely comfortable with me right now. Um, but I know her new foster is going to do fantastic for her. And it's going to be a lot of fun sending her with all the endowments. And as I said, when she goes to the new foster, I'm, and not only am I going to give them the endowments, but um, if I get to meet them, I will try to convince them to join our Discord and, and let us know how she's doing. Uh, if I don't get to meet them, which might be the case, you know, Dawes might pick her up and take her over there, as they do sometimes. Uh, when I send along all the endowments, I'll also send a note uh, explaining the same stuff. So, uh, so her foster, I, I remember how special it was when, uh, when we got the cat that came with the note that was Serenity. Was it Serenity that came with the note? Uh, it was just so special that... that, that whoever her previous foster had been that sent her to us when she got pregnant had included a note saying how special she was and all of her favorite, they sent her favorite toys and, and foods. Oh, it was so adorable. It really was touching. So I hope, uh, I hope Cuddles Foster can also appreciate that uh, when that happens uh, coming right up. So, okay. 
That was mailbag. It was a quick one, but it's the perfect length for me. I'm going to activate this mouse. I'm going to let these guys continue to wrestle in the tissue pit for a little while since they're still having fun with it. It's okay. Keep playing. Keep playing, hot chocolate. You don't have to get up. Okay, well, they're going to hop out for a minute, but we'll leave it in here as long as they're still up and playing. My guess is they've worn themselves out. You guys got to see Alcove right now. Let me let me take a picture and put it on Discord because this is, this is a, like a classic... Worn out kitten. I wonder if she'll stay there if I get up because uh, I'd be do better to get a, a really nice picture using a different lens on this camera here. Let's see if I can make that work. She's not like a light. Oh, she opened her eyes when I said that. Okay, let me put that on the stream. On the Discord, I meant. Oh, Laura Kitten Fan says she sent it because she saw me playing with her and the, the string toy. That's great. Very, very nice. Thank you. Okay. Actually, guys, can I take that box? That box seems like it would make more sense to take these things out with, doesn't it? Okay, buddy. Here, play with this instead. You ready? Uh, there we go. a giant chocolate bar my goodness all right <laughs> these stickers at first I was astray I was petrified it's cute it's a uh, it's really funny I think I'm going to toss this in the wash right across the hall as I'm going by. turn off this mic before I forget. Walking around the house with the mic on is dangerous. Very dangerous. It doesn't run so well on the carpet, does it? It's easy for you to keep up with that way, though. That's nice. Look out now. I'll put my feet right there where you are.
You're having too much fun. Doesn't this say not a toy right on it? Oh, watch it. Keep the balance. It doesn't actually say not a toy. It does say not to use it to rescue people from water, though. It's kind of a... I don't know. I guess I feel like maybe that was something somebody might have tried at some point. Give you back your pineapple. There we go. Take this. All right. Last chance, kids. If I don't see anybody in this tissue pit when I come back, I'm going to take it away. Got to keep it fresh for you. Looks like you're having more fun with that little mouse anyway. You know, maybe we should take that. Oh, but if we take the mouse next door, it might go into the closet door. On the other hand, I think I blocked the closet door off, didn't I? Did I? I gotta look. Yeah, I can look from here. No, I can't. It's locked. Okay, hang on. Let's see. I had blocked it off, but the things I used to block it off are in the wash. So I'll put him back in here. Okay, have fun with that. I guess it's a uh, it's fun and it's slow too. All right, that's it for mailbag uh, from my perspective anyway. Let's fill up your food. Like I said, if I come back and nobody's in that pit, I will take it away. Looks like the mouse is the fun thing now. All right, and I've got four, five, seven out of eight kittens, and the other one's just napping next door while worn out. I think it was PJ. Yeah, no, it's PJ's right here. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, eight. Wow, I miscounted. How about that? Everybody's here. Who lives with a pineapple on a you? YouTube stream? I don't know, it's close. Almost made it work. Okay. On a cat stream. Yeah, there we go. 